This video is sponsored by AppMaker. Hey everyone, welcome back to Educate WordPress, where we talk everything about WordPress. And today, we're going to create an amazing looking website using the Nev theme. Let's get started. Nev is a super fast, easily customizable, multi-purpose theme. It's perfect for blogs, small businesses, agencies, e-commerce, as well as personal portfolio websites. Nev will load in mere seconds and adapt perfectly on any viewing device. It is lightweight and has a minimalist design theme that is highly extendable. It has a highly SEO optimized code that results in top rankings in Google search. Nev theme also works with many page builders such as Elementor, Beaver, Gutenberg and DV. So let's install this Nev theme. As you can see, we got absolutely nothing on our website. Head over to Nev website. The website will be linked in the description. Now let's install our theme. Click on download. Let's go to our dashboard. Appearances. Themes. Add new. Click on upload theme. Choose the downloaded file. And click on install now. Now while this install, let's talk a bit about our sponsor. This video is sponsored by AppMaker. AppMaker is a WordPress plugin that converts WooCommerce websites to mobile apps. The mobile app builder helps you create native Android and iOS applications. Get 30% off by being first 200 sign up. Get the link in the description. Now let's activate it. And as you can see, we have Nev options. Click on Nev options. As you can see, let's head over to starter sites. Let's install and activate the importer plugin. Now, as you can see, we have starter templates according to Elementor, Gutenberg, Beaver. Now, as you can see, there are amazing looking websites in here. Now, if you want to use Elementor, you will have to use the pro version. Now, let's talk. Why would you want to add the pro version to your WordPress website? A simple reason is that you want to make website faster and more professional. The thing is that there is always a workaround for every feature in WordPress. There are thousands of plugins that can do the same job for you perfectly. But the problem is the more you add plugins, the more you slow down your own website. So if you want the theme to do the heavy lifting and make a website a bit lighter, so that it feels more responsive and fast when the user is using it definitely go for the pro version to buy the pro version head over to nev website the website will be linked in the description click on choose plan and as you can see there are three plans choose the plan that is best suited for you After you paid for the plugin, it will install a zip file. Let's install that zip file. Click on plugins, add new. Click on upload plugin and choose the downloaded file. Click on install now. 
and activate plugin. Now let's head back to nav options. Go to starter sites. And now we can access all these websites for element of theme builder. Now if you wanted to use Gutenberg, all those 125 websites are free to use. But since we use Elementor, we will go with Elementor. And as you can see, there are 128 starter templates. Now let's find a theme that really suits us. Now let's pick this resume to and click on import. We can choose what settings and plugins will be imported. And as you can see, Elementor website builder will also be installed. Click on import entire site. Now let's click on view website. Let's open in this new tab. Now as you can see, our website has been imported along with all the pages. And we can even edit this website with Elementor. As you can see. And even in the Elementor, as you can see, there are pro widgets that were not accessible in the free version. For now, we will leave that. And let's get back to dashboard. Now I want to head over to my website and see the customization settings. Now these customization settings are more or less same in many themes. Like for example, we have layout. If you have a blog page, you can edit the blog layout. You can edit how the single post will be. And there are home page settings as well. You can edit the header. Let's head over to home. As you can see, you can grab this primary menu. This is the primary menu and we can add more settings as well. Now let's say I want to add a palette switch. So this is our palette switch, which will change to dark mode or light mode. Let's click on publish. As you can see, there are header presets like what kind of header do you want? For now, we will leave that as it is. Now, as you can see, we are in the dark mode now. When we click back and we're back in the light mode. Not many themes have this option of light and dark mode, which is very handy. That is why you might want to consider this theme. Now let's see more customizations. Let's head over to footer. Now there's just a simple copyright message. You can change 
the accent color as well like the primary color maybe i want a bit lighter so i'll choose on maybe this one let's click on publish head back now let's try editing this with elementor Now let's try adding some nev pro add-on widgets. Click on. We'll use this. And let's say I want to add my Instagram feed here. For that I'm going to need an Instagram API key but for now we'll leave that let's see more widgets as well let's try adding a flip card now this is a flip card as you can see the two buttons a short description and this is a detailed description You can even add a review box as well. We can edit our ratings as well in this. As you can see, this is our review box. This is the box settings. We're going to remove the price. We can add an image as well. Let's try adding our scores the R rating we can change here as you can see when it is 64 the stars correspond to this one we can increase it as well and this is 100 percent now let's see some more as you can see we can add banner This would be the banner image. You can choose you can choose any image. Let's try this one. And as you can see, this is our banner image. This is a typed headline. This is as a custom type in effect. as you can see this effect is looking good we can change the colors as well let's click on update this is not looking very good but this is to explain the features of the pro widgets now that's it for this video thank you for watching like if you find this video useful and subscribe. Thank you.